If you have spider mites on a cat palm, there are a few ways to control them, and the best way is to make your plant healthy enough to fight them. What are spider mites? Spider mites are part of a big family of irritating but necessary creatures in the Tetranicidae family. There are about 1,200 or so of these critters known to science and many of these are of concern from the perspective of the damage they do in agriculture. They reproduce and live under the leaves of plants and spin little fluffy webs of silk to protect themselves from predators and moisture. Spider mites thrive in dry weather, and they thrive on sick plants that cannot defend themselves. How do plants defend themselves against spider mites? Plants that are healthy and photosynthesizing strongly have the ability to mount a defense. Bricks. Bricks is basically percentage solutes. Hence if we look at honey, it has a bricks of 83%, that is 83% solutes, sugar in this case. In a plant, we would expect to have a bricks level in the sap of at least 12% or so. What this enables the plant to do is to have enough sugars to maintain and strengthen itself. It has enough sugars to run the basics of its existence, as well as to produce resins and or terpenes to protect itself against pests. It can exude sugars into the space around its roots to feed fungi and bacteria that help it absorb salts from the soil. These salts in turn increase the bricks in the sap and make the plant even healthier. All in all, the lower the bricks and leaves, the more attractive a plant is to spider mites. The higher the bricks, the more the plant can resist spider mites. If the bricks passes 13% or so, the spider mites actually find the sap they suck to be a bit unpleasant to their health. Resins and Terpenes The production of terpenes can chase mites away. These plants produce high concentrations of strongly smelling terpenes that chase spider mites away. We can harvest these terpenes and use them on other plants that are unable to produce terpenes. Spider mites on a cat palm are an example of mites growing on a plant that produces few terpenes. Applying this knowledge to controlling spider mites on a cat palm. We first need to control the outbreak. A great method with a potted plant is just to take the plant outside. A mixture containing neem oil will kill mites effectively. You can spray the plant vigorously with a garden hose and a fine jet nozzle. This will actually remove a lot of the spider mites and the little webs and gunk that build up on the leaves. The chances are that if you have spider mites on a cat palm you will also have a bit of scale and other pests that have built up. This will help to control these as well. Use enough force of water that you blow the pests off, but not the actual leaves as well. Once you have done this, Take the plant back into the house and allow it to dry and heal. How to strengthen your plant so that it does not get sick again. Light. A cat palm is a plant that grows in semi-shade in nature. This means it needs light, but not direct light. If it has enough light, it can produce enough sugars to keep the bricks in its leaves high enough to inhibit spider mites. Nutrients and moisture. Cat palms are heavy feeders and despise dry soil. When it comes to controlling spider mites on a cat palm, ensuring there are enough nutrient salts in the soil helps to enable the plant to keep its bricks levels high. Ensure that the soil in your cat palm's pot is constantly damp, but not waterlogged. Buy a middle-of-the-range moisture meter. The cheaper ones don't work well. Keep the soil in the moist range. Buy a control. You can introduce Phytocyalis persimilis mites into your garden from time to time and this helps to control blooms of spider mites. Apply the above systems to keep your plants healthy and you will have years and years of beautiful greenery out of your plants. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.